Hey guys, it's Al from Carbon GFX, and I'm going to show you how to do bullet hits in Adobe After Effects. Okay, so three things you're going to need a bullet hit clip, I'm going to provide you some at the end of the video, and bullet hole. And last thing is your stock footage of something you want to get shot up or something like that. Okay, so once you, if you drag in your bullet hole, you're going to notice it's on black. Let me drag it up. It's on black, and you're going to want to get rid of that so you can only see the whole bullet hit. I mean, right there okay so just delete that so drag your bullet hit you want and make it a new composition go into effect go into channel shift channels take alpha from luminance then go back into effect back into channel and then click remove color matting set that to black because that's the color you want to remove okay so go back to your project Go back into your stock footage, and you're going to notice you have a new composition. It's right here. So just drag that into your video, and you're going to notice that your bullet hit has been keyed out from black, and now it's just a normal bullet hit. So then, you're going to want to have your bullet hole. If you want that without a black background, you can just do what we just did there, or you can just put it through Photoshop to get rid of the background. Okay, so once you did all that, make sure your bullet hole is under the bullet hit. So it looks like it's underneath the hit. Okay, so drag it down, scale it down a little. We don't want it huge. And put it right where the bullet hit happens. Which is about there. And then just drag it where it is. Okay, so you're going to notice that the bullet hole is a completely different color to the ground. So, go into effects on your rough hole, bullet hole, I mean, go into color correction. You can either use tint or levels. Levels is kind of better because you have more options. Okay, so just like mess around with it until you get it right. Really depends on what the ground is. So, that looks about right here. Okay, that looks grand. And then, if you want to make a blend more, go into effect, box blur, and blur and sharpen. And it kind of makes it match it a little bit more. Something like that. Yeah. Okay, so that's how you did it. Make sure to add some color correction to your stock footage to make it look, you know, a little more realistic, sort of. So we're just going to levels or change color color balance whichever doesn't really matter you can just mess around with it until you get a cool color see it's like gone orange that doesn't look realistic at all okay so thanks for watching guys that's the end of my tutorial make sure to subscribe